It's a school, so nobody was taking any chances. As the numbers began to mount up, the emergency services responded in kind. Fire crews, hazardous materials specialists, a gas detection team from West Yorkshire, paramedics and police. A huge response. But after three hours of looking, they found nothing. It was a hot day, the room was quite warm. We're kind of of the view now that perhaps some of the children just fainted and it might have just a ripple effect throughout the school. So gradually more and more children start to get anxiety or start to be a little bit concerned and the thing has just obviously uh, escalated. It started at the remembrance service. Two pupils fainted. By the time paramedics left, they treated almost 40. For parents, the biggest concern was the lack of information. We got a text at um, half three saying the kids were coming out. So that's as much as we know. And, and what do you think they should have done? Maybe said that kids are all right and nothing to worry about. It was such a big incident that the town's MP was reporting to the Secretary of State for Education. I think it showed that Emergency Services Council, the Education Secretary was in touch with me uh, early this afternoon to offer her support and department support. I think it showed that when there are incidents they were taken very thoroughly, very uh, seriously. In the end, nobody was taken to hospital, all the affected pupils went home after being seen by a doctor and nobody was any the wiser.